this puddle here is uh indicates how much rain. Uh, well, a couple of hours of heavy rain last night. Park my car in this lay by start my walk up halfway up Snowden. This is the little hamlet of Bethania. It's uh where the, just the other side here is where the path leads the road and I begin the ascent. I didn't quite see but there's a tumbling waterfall. This is where I leave the road and begin my walk. Walking path. Maybe a third of a mile or so from the road, there's a tumbling stream. Pleasant woodland in this initial part of the walk. a good sized conifer. This is the, the Tumbling River waterfalls coming down from Coombe Land. Um, starting to gain a little bit of height but uh, there's an easy ascent here up to Coombe Land. And I've had the trail to myself except for those two walkers up ahead that just overtook me. Spectacular waterfalls, I got them on telescopic. But uh, and that rain we had last night has come at a convenient time. There's the slopes of the Arras. E. Aaron fluid back in the, the last ice age this would have been an ice wall coming down from the valley above yeah, if you can see there's another incline one of the many uh, inclines uh, in Snowdonia. It's sunny down here, but uh, I think the top of Snowdon might be in the mist. to the top of the icefall section. And you can see some people coming up behind. Quite a pleasant morning. Not quite the end of the icefall section. Still a hundred feet or so to go. There's an old gentleman in front that's going to climb, not Snowden, but the Aaron, which uh, I could probably do, actually today, but I only tend to go up to Coombe Lan, or Coombe Tian. Okay, this I think is approaching the actual top of the ice wall section. This is the top of the ice wall. It's a bit windy up here. 
So there might be some audio problems. There's the main ridge going up to the top of Snowden, which is still in cloud. there is, is a, going to the top of the Aran, the Aran, 2,000, nearly 2,500 feet. Quite a good climb in itself. Okay, it's past levels out now for, so, most of the ascent for today's walk is over with. Here's a house that's long been abandoned. But uh, the reason I'm taking taking this little video is to show the the, the bullet hole marks. It was used for target practice during the Second World War. And the bullet hole marks are, are still there. Uh, Scenery comes as we gain height. The scenery comes into its own. Snowden, Snowden grandeur. Uh, you can see the summit party for year round, maybe, possibly not. This is a memorial stone laid back in 1892 when William Gladstone, Prime Minister at the time, uh, ascended up to this point and made a speech before several hundred people, several hundred Welsh people, about the rights of small nations. There's the Iran behind. Slightly off the main track, just a few feet. I'll continue my ascent, but uh, I'll go up the left-hand side, away from the main path, up to the top of. Well, it's, uh, no, I'll carry on on up to gain my sense of direction. family of probably young jackdaws. It is a nice climbing slab. It uh, probably has a, a root on it. Is here Aaron, the climbing party somewhere underneath that ridge ascending. Okay, negotiate this wet spot. And here's a definite climbing route there. The main the main Watkins path continues continues up there. Uh, but I'm I'm going this way. Just uh, maybe half a mile or so, and then that will be the day's walk. It's still, the valley goes up still quite a way because the size of that that stream. Of course, there's lots of quarry workings just around the corner, and that's be going back down along that tramway and then join my the main path again. 
Snowden is uh, they won't be getting any views from the top of Snowden maybe today it looks pretty gloomy up there but I think yeah, the ramparts of fluid they, they look clear the Aaron quarry workings this is where the, the tramway goes back down and uh, the head of Coon Ram up there underneath the ramparts of Snowden and these are the quarry refuse the tap probably does follow this stream for a while up, up there I'm not sure how far I'll go I'll probably call it a day I could carry on up but uh, it would eventually come to a dead end it's excellent scenery of course up in this it's kind of a fairly well remote valley, I'm off the main path here and uh, you see the contrast between the, the sunlit the sunlit uh, lower part of the valley and uh, mist enshrouded upper regions and there somewhere is the summit of Snowden Will I go any further? Well, probably not, so I'll just try a few more steps. <coughs> There's good old fluid, and I can see just tiny dust on the summit uh, of climbers that have successfully ascended. So I have my, I have my uh, lunch break here. This is as far as I'll go. There's no clear track up further up. I'll go down and have a look at those ruined quarry buildings and then go back along the, the tramway and I can see some, some very tiny dots on the top of the skyline on the, the Aaron as well it might possibly be that other ascent party but uh, <laughs> the old uh, fella might, uh, might not have made it up there uh, Well, you will not make it up there, but not, 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 uh, probably need a few, another half an hour or so. So it's still in. There's a bridge constructed by the quarrymen. To gain access to these, well, probably, probably, uh, slept here during the week uh, in those days it had a roof on probably wasn't too bad uh, they made a living out of it and they had homes towards uh, you know towards the coast maybe Penryn Diedrif and places like that ok I'll head over towards that uh, tramway and, uh, well, probably be back at the car in less, less than an hour. There's the quarry buildings. There was a bit of a marshy spot from here to there, but uh, with the waterproof boots, I was okay. That track looks like it might go up to the coal there and then ascend up that very long ridge up to the summit of Snowden, a popular ascent route. Maybe not so much today because uh, Snowden is uh, capped with uh, clouds. The fluid would be an excellent walk. This is the tramway, and uh, still in good condition. I was 
obviously well constructed in its day. And there's a little cutting. Uh, no problem for the quarrymen. bottom and you may not be able to see them in, with this camera. It's not very good but there's the Watkins half goes up the water the, the, the quarry workings. That's where I left the Watkins path. At that point there Okay, here's the where I'll begin the descent down to the main trail down there at uh, before I do that I'll just go to the, the very end of this tramway to see the incline it goes abruptly down several hundred feet Obviously, I'm not going down there, but uh, it, uh, it's possible, but you can, you can see, I don't know if you can see some people on that's the main path down there, several hundred feet down, and uh, looks like this is where they operated the, the, uh, the carts or whatever they used to uh, old Shabbat over there. The wind picks up and blows through these, this gap, so whether you can hear me, but uh, there's the top, top of the ice wall section of the Watkins Path. Day. Okay, this is about 200 yards or so away from the where I begin my descent down to the main path. It's a little bit wet underfoot, but no real problem. This is the ascent route to Iaron. Uh, it's a We've got about 200 foot or so descent down to the main path. This is probably all part, all put in this path when they constructed the tramway. It's probably the workers may have used this track to get to their place of work people down on the main trail down below. There's the uh, Second World War practice building down below by those trees. A little cascade of waterfalls going down to the main stream. One last shot. Now this uh, really turned out to be an excellent walk. There's that incline and uh, of course the waterfall. And probably, well, probably still 15 minutes from the car. Yan, all the uh, 
Kung Hyun belongs to a farm called Alfred Yan. This is the actual official Watkins path just before we get to the road, two, three hundred yards away maybe. Um, Edward Watkins had a residence along here somewhere and the path was named out after him. Of course the residence is now falling into tissues but it's, this is a pleasant, uh, pleasant woodland. He, uh, he make, makes quite a change from the, uh, the mountain the mountain uh, scenery and uh, now we have obviously pleasant woodland scenery nice footbridges 